Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to continue my loose watercolour animal projects by painting the chicken because it's just a little bit more complex than my robins and polar bears that came before. So grab your paints and let's get started. Right then, I am very excited about painting these because I love this loose watercolour technique that I've begun to develop, really simplifying down these shapes. Um, I actually find initially the idea of simplifying things quite tricky to get my head round. Um, I know some of you are the same, that you prefer painting something a little bit more detailed and precise, but there is nothing better than challenging yourself. So I've just mixed up some Mars Black and some uh, French Ultramarine Blue just to get a slightly inky dark colour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint four chickens in slightly different styles but also slightly different colours as well. And these are loose styles so I'm not going to be focusing in too much on specific breeds but it'd be fantastic if anyone recognises any of these that by chance happen to look like a real chicken breed. Okay, so I'm going to begin up here and the oh, fluff off, fluff on the brush, um, the most of it I'm going to be doing with large brushes, so size four, I've got a size six, and then you might not have seen this one in my kit before. This is another Pro Art brush, Pro Art is my favourite brand to use, um, but the handle is just a bit thicker and it means it's really wonderful for gripping when you're doing detailed work talk a bit more about that as we go. So okay we've got some nice wet colour and what I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to begin up in this corner, I'm going to sort of start with a head and that's from by sort of creating a bit of a cone shape and then I'm going to bring the body down and across, just lots of water at this point but I'm quite keen to allow for some little bits of unpainted space and then finish with a little tail feather and it, it literally is as simple as that at this stage um, I, I love painting chickens so much I discovered um, because they are wonderfully simple so I'm just going to maybe draw that up a tiny bit essentially what we want to do is we're going to have a little um, the red crest and the little jowls underneath and a little beak but the body shape is lovely and loose and I'm also going to paint in the legs now, I know with the robins I sort of left that till last, but with these I can just get them in in this early stage because I rather like how the blend works. There. And then whilst it's still wet, I'm just going to take a little bit more Mars Black that's just a bit more concentrated and just drop in a few little tufts of black. Nothing too much at this point, but we will come back and pop in a little bit more detail as we go. Okay, so that's our first chicken, the sort of body done. Now I'm going to paint one in here. I've got a few of my references up around here of some of the favourite ones I did in practice, so that's kind of useful. Right, so I'm going to take a bit of yellow ochre this time and make a nice sort of golden hen, I think. So we'll just wake that one up. This time I'm going to do a chicken that's sort of looking over its shoulder a little bit. So again we start with the sort of neck and head but this time the chicken is going to be sort of looking over its shoulder so creating that kind of shape. And then with not much colour I'm just going to draw down through the breast and the belly of the chicken and then the wing is sort of going to come over like that and then up she goes to a little tail feather. So it's all about the little bits of unpainted space with this and then we'll add in, add in some feet. So three on the front, one on the back, just in this rather delicate cadmium orange and I like the idea of popping in a little bit of burnt sienna because it's wonderful and ready russet coloured so I'm, I like the idea 
that the sort of collar of the chicken is where we're going to see a bit of colour, a little bit on the wing and a little bit tipping in the feathers. Okay, we'll leave that one to dry as well so you can see that the head is sort of pointing that way. Next one we'll have, we'll have a burnt sienna chicken this time. And this time I'm going to have one kneeling over, well not kneeling, bending over to peck, a bit like my little reference up here. So I'm going to again start with the sort of head and neck. And then a nice rounded little set of C curves to get the wings in. And then the body continues up. So again, it's all about using the unpainted space and allowing a bit of gappage to give us the shaping of a wing. And I'm going to just come down and just give them a little bit more leg. There we go. And then the feet angling forwards. I think that's quite a key little detail in terms of making your chickens nice and realistic. Now, I actually quite like the idea of popping in a little bit of red, cadmium red, into the burnt sienna chicken. So I'm just mixing it with what I've got in my palette. And then I just think a few little tufts and that'll be lovely. Okay, now we're going to end with a rather resplendent hen. I decided not to do a rooster, but I suppose this would probably be the closest thing. Okay, so we're going to start with a nice sort of grey. It's almost quite a pinky grey because I saw a tiny bit of red from my brush, which I quite like. And then down comes the body. Around comes the back and then a lovely tail. And that looks rather lovely. And then again, just making sure we've got proper sort of almost like pantaloons there for the legs. And there we've got four chickens in different poses and slightly different styles. Now I'm going to go back to my first one and I'm going to pop in the red details being careful not to stick my hand in my other chickens. So first off, we need the little red jowls and then the crest. And the crest comes really quite far down the front of the face, leaving just a tiny little opening for a beak there. Let's do here. And what I quite like, if, if it blends in, I, I rather like that. So that's why I've not sort of allowed it to dry fully and sort of done a cut because I love the more blends, the better, to be honest. Okay, here, little jowls just poking down. Really nice. And then for the beak, I'm going to use cadmium orange and I'm just getting a little bit of the yellow ochre in there just so it's not sort of too fluorescent orange. And all it's going to be is a tiny little 
little brush stroke. And the last thing in this simplified style is a little eye. And then once we've put that in, we're going to have a look at adding just a few tiny little extra bits of feathery detail. So just with a bit of Mars Black in the unpainted gap. There are four lovely simple chickens. Now I'm going to let these dry and then we're going to come back and just have a look at a tiny bit more chance for some detail. That's just had a little chance to dry and what I want to do is I don't want to do too much because I love the charm of these little things but if you wanted you could just always add in a little bit extra just to define some of the feathers so I'm getting a little bit of Mars black and you might have a chicken that has got a lovely sort of mottled feathery detail so you can just find the places on the wing just around the collar and a few tail feathers that can make it just even more delightful and then for this one down here quite like the idea of just adding in a few more tail feathers in a slightly darker darker color a few more there but it's absolutely up to you really you could just stop at that point and that is the point at which I am going to stop so there we are four spring chickens for you Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that one. And I want to say a big thank you to my patrons for your support, because your support enables me to keep making these videos that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you're getting on. And of course, if you subscribe, then you'll never miss another video. Until next time, bye!